Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Feed the Beast Resurrection for episode 3. Now, last episode, we started on some of the early game Greg Tech Bronze Age machines, starting with the small coal boiler and the steam macerator, which have been working uh, pretty nicely since the end of last episode, pulverizing up uh, some tin ore, which I think we have over here. Uh, yeah, we got 42 crushed tin ore, which we can either smelt into tin nuggets, which is actually probably the better solution because you get 10 tin nuggets, which gives you just a little bit more than an ingot's worth of nuggets, or you can use the hammer to turn them into impure piles of dust, and as we did last episode, throw those impure piles of dust into the cauldron, and then smelt those from there into actual ingots, which does only get you one ingot per uh, crushed tin, but it's a bit more convenient because it means that you don't end up with random nuggets all over the place. But for now, what I think we're going to do is go ahead and just throw them in here as is and then craft up the nuggets once they're done because you know, it's a bit easier than going ahead and using the hammer over and over and over again, which to be fair doesn't have the greatest durability in the world. Now, one of the problems that we've been running into quite a bit since the end of last episode is fuel. We do not have anywhere near enough fuel to power the furnace, the steam generator, any other furnaces we have over here and just basically all the stuff now we have quite a bit of this or over here let me see if i can find it uh, this one here which somebody had a go at me in the comment section for pronouncing wrong uh, it's lignite coal or is what this is and you can use this you can smelt it into lignite coal and then you can use that to make either lignite coal dust or just go ahead and use it as a fuel, but I found that it wasn't really that effective. It didn't last very long, and it kind of took about the same time to, to smelt the ore into the coal form as it did for the coal form to actually smelt anything else. So it really wasn't all that useful to actually use this. So what I want to do today is take a little bit of a step back from Greg Tech for an episode. We are going to come back to this. We are going to perfect this and get ourselves a uh, fully automated system where we can fully process our ores. And then we'll probably also upgrade to the next step, which is a steel, like a steel age of, of stuff for the machines. And I feel like we have no sound. Is my sound off? Or is it just really quiet because of this flipping machine? Because when this thing gets running, it's it's loud. It's really flipping loud. So I think what we're going to do today is work on getting a nice infinite source of fuel. And to do that, we are going to set up a mine factory reloaded tree farm. So uh, I think for now, we're going to go to sleep in, in a second because night is falling. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a planter which is this guy over here. Fairly easy to make. It doesn't require any Greg Tech stuff. You can make it using two plastic sheets or two plastic sheets from Greg Tech if you really want to. Uh, two plastic sheets, which you can get easily. Some flower pots, which again, fairly simple stuff. Two pistons, a machine frame, which is just a tin gear, iron and glass, along with two copper gears, which is just all copper, all copper and iron, depending on how you make them. I th oh, jeez. <laughs> or you can use the Greg Tech version uh, if you want to have it be even harder. Uh, as well as a redstone reception coil, which is two redstone and some gold, which which says, error, please check your log for Greg Tech error 01. I, I hope that still works. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, I've also been smelting up a bunch of clay since the end of last episode. You can see we have 64 in here. Uh, I got my shovel out. There is like quite a nice amount of pockets of, of clay sort of in the river next to us, which is quite nice. It means we can get a lot of bricks because I'm thinking of building a little like brick sort of powerhouse for all of our machines uh, somewhere else. I don't really want to have too much stuff uh, in here that's all machinery. Like this stuff, I don't really like having the water here. I think what I'm going to do is maybe like build it out this way and have some sort of uh, machine room over there to process all of our stuff. But uh, anyway, that'll be for next episode. What I want to do for now is, is work on getting this planter and following that up with the harvester which is this guy over here. This guy's a little bit harder, requires two shears, another machine frame, more plastic sheets, two gold gears, which requires quite a bit of gold. Gold was pretty hard to get, actually. We uh, we didn't find a lot of gold, but I think we do have some. Uh, yeah, we got nine up there, and we got a little bit of dust every like every so often. We got some crushed gold for there for some reason. Uh, so we're going to use that. And we also need an invert axe, which, again, a little tricky to make, but I think we have everything we need. Now, one of the main things that we're going to need that we don't quite have any of yet is rubber. And that is for these plastic sheets. For those who don't know, the way you make plastic sheets, if you're not doing the Greg Tech version, come on, let me, let me get back to my harvester. The way we make plastic sheets is, come on, let me, let me, there we go. The way we make plastic sheets is, I'm hoping, not some silly long way around it, because it looks like that might be the way. Okay, well, let's have a look, actually, first. Before we before we get caught up in the Greg Tech of it all, what we would normally do is we would normally run out and try and get that tree over there. I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, on the YouTube video, but there was a little tree just over there. It's a bit of a different color to the rest of them. There's actually one here as well, and we'll go to that one because it's a bit closer. And this one will give us, hopefully, some rubber that we should be able to smell 
into rubber bars. And then we should be able to smell again into raw plastic. So let's have a look. Okay, we got rubber. This is a good start. This is a good start. Let's hope that the recipe hasn't been changed. Let's see. If I press U on that, it will tell me that I could smelt it up into rubber bars, which I can then use to make... Oh, I can then smelt to make plastic pulp, which I can then smelt to make plastic bars, I guess. We can then use an alloy smelter with a mold to make a plastic sheet. Really? Really? You're going to make it that hard? Ah, okay. So it looks... Like, we may, in fact, have to do a little bit of work in order to get ourselves some plastic sheets. Okay, that's 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 fair. So, in order for that to work, we're going to need an alloy smelter and a mold. The mold, fairly easy to get. We need an empty shape plate, which is just some steel or reinforced iron. Really? Again? Really? Uh, for that, we're going to need... Is there a faster way to make that? Not particularly. Greg Tech Steel is... Again, pretty hard to make. Jeez, I was hoping this would be nice and easy. We could just go ahead, grab some plastic, and move on from there. But it looks like it's not going to be that simple. We're going to need a hammer. Reinforced iron seems like a bit of a, a misnomer. I don't see any, really any like logical way to make this. We could put a block of steel or a block of refined iron in a block cutting machine. But that doesn't really seem to work. Hmm. Okay, what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and probably cut the video here. I'll go, for, I'll go get some more of this rubber, and I'll try to figure out how I can get ourselves some plastic sheets. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so quick change of plan. It turns out that we do, in fact, have to use Greg Tech in order to get ourselves even Mine Factory Reloaded machines. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spell up some diamonds. We're going to get a diamond pick. We're going to go try and get some obsidian. I think there is a lava pool uh, just down in our mines that we have, so a pretty big lava pool. We'll grab some water. We'll make some obsidian down there. We'll get ourselves a the portal and then we'll try and work on getting ourselves a blast furnace because if we can get a blast furnace we can use that to get steel and then we can use that steel to get ourselves some of the sheets because if you have a look uh, in order to make the sheets we need a mold in order to get the mold we need an empty ship plate which is made using a file a hammer and then either either reinforced iron or uh, steel now i don't even think there's a recipe for reinforced iron it shows it here but i don't actually think it's a thing i think you're supposed to use steel for this so what we're going to do is we're going to grab you we're going to go ahead and get ourselves probably a little bit more wood because, again, really don't have it. We're really low on the stuff, and I don't feel like cutting it down for days and days on end. So I'm going to grab this stuff. We're going to make a pick. We're going to head down, get to Obsidian, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so for now, we'll put this thing down somewhere like over here. I'll probably move this eventually, but for now, it can go down like so. I think we have some flint in uh, in the building, so we should be good for that. And then we should be good to just go ahead and make some stuff. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, do we have any flint? Uh, we definitely got some iron. We made a bunch of that between episodes. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll take you. Hopefully, this works, please. Does it work? Really? Really? <laughs> No! Ah, oh, come on. What's the flint and steel recipe? Please tell me I don't need steel. Oh, I need a steel nugget. Why? Why? Why you do this to me? Um, oh, how can I light this thing without any flint and steel? I could use... Mm, I could try and light it with... F with... F I could try and light it with fire. If we threw in some... Oh, if we had, like, lava here, I could try throwing lava down and hope that the fire just sort of spits across and lights the portal. But other than that, how am I going to get a steel nugget? Hmm... We need to get a steel ingot in order to do that. And I don't have any steel ingots. Hmm. Okay, guys. I'm going to try something. I'll be back in a second. Hey, it worked. Nice. Okay, so quick little trick there, guys, by the way. If you want to be able to light a nether portal without having a flint and steel, what you can do is you can put some lava down and throw some wood around it, like this, throw some down there and on the back here. And you should be able to light it like you just saw there. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I am going to go away again. I'm going to go... Oh, a bit of like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to put a waypoint down over here first, actually. Is it... What did I use? Ah, I can't remember what key I used. Was it this key? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I was going to put a waypoint down, but apparently I'm not now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nether portal. 
so I can find where we're back. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a bunch of this salt sand here with my shovel. I'm also going to go around and grab a bunch of some of this nether water, as uh, nether rack as well. Smell it up into nether bricks uh, so we can make all that stuff. And I'll also try and find myself some magma cubes on the way. And hopefully, when we come back in a second, we should be able to make a blast furnace. So yeah, I'm going to do that, guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so quite a while later, and we actually have all of the stuff that we need to go ahead and make ourselves a blast furnace. So, if we go ahead and do something like this, we should get everything we need. So I guess it's 24, which I think is actually just a little bit shy of what we need. We might need a little bit more nether brick. Uh, thankfully, we do have some more cooking up, because the way that you build a blast furnace, as it says over here, it is a multi-block, it is hollow, and it is 3 by 4 by three. So I'm fairly certain that it is three deep like this. Uh, I'm not going to keep it here, by the way. We will move this eventually. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I think I'm going to have this in the sort of little um, brick sort of machinist room that we're going to have behind here. But for now, I can put it here because it's a nice little like three by three room. And the way we build this thing is kind of like this. We build it a three by three with a hole in the middle. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, I feel like it used to be this with one there and one there. But on here, it says 3x4x3 three by by three hollow, so we might have to make it a little bit deeper, and I'm getting a sinking feeling that we don't have enough uh, magma creams, which is not good at all. Uh, let's have a look. Can we make this final piece? Boom. Boom. Let's have a look. Is that going to work? Please work. Pretty, pretty please? <laughs> no? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So if that's not going to work, then we're going to have to cut up uh, a few more holes in the roof here like that. Uh, we have to make it a little bit taller. And, ah, oh, I don't think we have enough stuff. I don't think we have enough stuff. Come on. Okay, so we need one uh, here, 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 and here. And then we need one, two, three, four. We need, we need like six more. We need two more magma creams in order to make this work. Jeez, that is a flipping expensive machine. Well, <laughs> okay, in that case, what did it take to make a magma cream? We need a blaze rod and some slime. We don't have any of those things. Uh, pink slime we don't have. Normal slimes we don't have. Yeah. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back over to the nether, and I'll be back in however long it takes. And a little while later, we have three more of these. Flipping heck, these things are hard to find, you know. Flipping magma creams are not common throughout the nether. But now we can go ahead and do something like this if we had enough nether bricks, which I think we might possibly. Come on, that gets us four more. I don't think that's going to be enough, is it? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. We need, we need, ah, we need two more. Did I put some? Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is, this is fine. We've got this. There's some nether, there's some nether rack all over the nether. This will take us two seconds. Jeez. Flipping, flipping Greg Tech stopping us uh, from doing what we want to do. So, as soon as we get this, we should, we should then be pretty much good to go. We should be able to just go ahead, make some steel. We might even be able to jump uh, from the Bronze Age to the Steel Age with our machines as well, which will be quite nice. And, and that way we can start making some steel. We can start making some mine factory reloaded stuff, which will be pretty nice. Get ourselves some limited fuel, and we should be pretty much good to go. So, let's do this again. Let's throw that in there. Uh, wait for those guys to smell up. But whilst we're doing that, uh, how is our gold doing? Our gold is pulverizing up uh, quite nicely. We're probably going to have to pulver up, a, uh, pulver up, pulverize up uh, a little bit more stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, throw some tin uh, in. I was going to say in somewhere. Um, we don't really have any fuel of any kind. This is kind of insane. Let's go grab some uh, some wood. Yeah, here we go. Good old fashioned tree cutting. I would kind of like something like tree capitator or vein miner so I could take these things down. Uh, wow. <laughs> I would kind of like something like tree capitator or vein miner so we could take these things down pretty fast. But alas, they're not included, so we kind of have to do it the good old-fashioned way. Which is probably one of the main reasons why I'm going for a tree farm so early on in the series. Because punching trees and getting wood, I've done it far too much now. We, 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 want, uh, we want to more advanced things. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go and make this into planks. Planks do burn for longer than uh, the logs do, by the way, guys. And they do burn for even longer than sticks as well. So you want to get the most use out of your wood, turn them into planks. Top tip. With Top tips with Isaac. All right, uh, this could take a while because we're going to need 16 more of those. So yeah, I'm going to wait for those to finish up. And I'll actually have to get a few more. And I'll be back in a second. And voila. Nice. You'll know it's worked if this little, like, window pops up at the bottom there. And now, if we right-click on here, we have a blast furnace. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so what we should be able to do now is go ahead and take some of the fuel we were using for our other machines. Do we have 
Any wood left? Nope, we have no wood left whatsoever. So let's go ahead and uh, we can't even have, wow. We don't even have enough wood to make an axe. So let's go get enough wood to make an axe. We can then make an axe. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to make an axe because we are pretty close now to our tree farm. I'm just going to get enough wood to, uh, to start burning up some steel. And uh, once we've got some steel, we should be pretty much good to go because the rest of the stuff we kind of already have. We, uh, I'm pulverizing the gold up right now. That's what's in the macerator, making all the noise. Everything else should be fairly easy to get. Uh, redstone, iron, gold, tin, everything, copper. Yeah, I think, I think we've got pretty much everything else. We should be good to go. So let's grab you. Thank you very much. And let's go see if we can get this ball rolling because once we've got a tree farm, uh, things are going to be so much easier. We don't have to worry about fuel. We don't have to worry about like wood and all. We can make tools galore. It's, it's going to be fantastic. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do a quick check. Does, does, does wood burn in the blast furnace? Does wood burn in the blast furnace? Nope, of course it doesn't. That would be far too easy. Uh, okay, test number two. Does charcoal burn in the blast furnace? I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's take you and let's give it a shot. I don't want to cook that up just in case it doesn't work. It does, nice. Okay, so we throw that in there along with some iron. We should get ourselves some steel. Now, the blast furnace is one of the slowest blocks that you will ever come across in the entirety of Minecraft. And as you can see, it is really, 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 really slow. And it stopped. <laughs> Brilliant. We're going to need like five pieces of coal just to get one piece of flipping steel. Jeez. <laughs> wow. This, this is really slow. Oh my gosh. Okay. We d Thankfully, I... Don't think we need that much of the stuff. Uh, I'm hoping that plate's reusable. So once we got it, we uh, we should be good to go. Let's get you again. And uh, let's see how this goes. We should probably put some fence gates in the back here instead of just normal fences. To make it uh, just a little bit easier to get back and forth. Instead of having to run all the way around to the front of the building uh, every time we want something. Uh, let's throw you in there. I probably should have got more than one to be fair. Uh, let's, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get a stone axe. Uh, I lied. I am going to make another axe just because we, we need it. <laughs> we need it. We've got too little wood to uh, to not need it. Let's take you. And three of you should be good. Boom. Boom. We could make an iron axe or probably like a diamond axe or something. But to be fair, I, I, I don't want to be mining. I don't want to be chopping down wood for all that much longer. So we, uh, we should be good. Uh, do we have tinkers? I didn't even look. Do we have tinkers? Because if we do, we don't. We have Thomic Tinker, which is what it's showing here, but we don't have Tinkers. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, if we had Tinkers Construct, we could get ourselves a Lumber Axe. We could make this uh, this process so much faster. But uh, but no, we don't. No Tinkers. No Tinkers for Resurrection. All right. Here we go. It's quite a surprise, actually. Most of the... Uh, the, the packs up until now, most of the recent packs have contained a lot of uh, a lot of Tinker's Construct and uh, Thermal Expansion and stuff. We do have Thermal Expansion, uh, as per usual, but not Tinker's. Not Tinker's this time around. All right. Let's throw you in there. Uh, hopefully, this one, maybe the next one after this will hopefully get us enough. Uh, how are you doing? You are done. Good stuff. Let's throw some more copyright ore in there because we do need a ton of uh, bronze in order to make that work. Uh, for those who are wondering why I'm calling it copyright ore, it's because I have no idea how to pronounce this. And if you get rid of the, the cow at the front, it's, uh, it pretty much says copyright. So that's, that's, that's what we're doing. We decided that last episode and that's what I'm going to call it because Greg Tech has some ridiculous names for some of its stuff. All right. Let's have a look. You can go in there. That should get us our first piece of steel. All right, let's have a look. Plastic sheets. So, in order to make this, we need a fluid solder or an extruder or an alloy smelter. Okay, I think an alloy smelter can do because we can get plastic sheets by smelting the... Oh, no, wait. Wait, 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 Let's have a look. What can we use this for? We can... We can smell these rubber bars, which can be smelted into plastic pulp, which can be smelted into plastic bars, which can be used for... What exactly? Oh, which can be put in an alloy smelter with a mold. Two of those with an alloy smelter with a mold gets a plastic sheet. The mold, right, okay, 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 okay. So, so, wait, 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 wait. Was that in the extruder? Or was that in the alloy smelter? Oh, plastic pulp. What, wait, what? <laughs> okay, so we can use, okay, okay. We can use a mold, which we're about to make, and plastic pulp. Plastic pulp can be made by smelting... Rubber, I think. Oh no, 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 no! It can be made by smelting 
those black bars, this one here, which can be made by smelting rubber. I think. Sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. We got one steel. Wow. Jeez. This... This could take a while, guys. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit here and wait for this thing to make us a flipping... I think we only need is four steel. I'm going to sit here and wait for this thing to make us four steel. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so again, a little while later, we're back and flipping heck, have I made a bunch of stuff. So, we finally have the four steel that we needed. Uh, for some odd reason, I'm not quite sure why, but every single time that I make steel in the blast furnace, it comes out as Railcraft steel, but then after about a minute or so in my inventory, the game kind of just says, no, we're not going to have that, and switches it up to Greg Tech steel. So for some reason, we now have four Greg Tech steel instead. It doesn't really matter to me. It's the same thing. It works the same, but it's just a bit odd. I thought I'd mention it. So what we need to do next in order to get ourselves uh, even up to getting at the plastic sheets, which will then allow us to make our tree farm, uh, is to get ourselves this guy over here, the alloy smelter, because if we have a look at the recipe for a plastic sheet, which I'm just going to type in sheet. It's easier. Recipe for this in an alloy smelter is this one here, which is the mold plate and two plastic pulp. Obviously, the two plastic pulp I made by smelting the black bars that we found before, which are made by smelting the normal rubber. So, in order to get the alloy smelter, of course, we needed a butt ton more bronze, which I've now got. We have 19 more bronze in our inventory, and we have a little bit more uh, over here. Nine more tickets to 28, which is pretty nice. Uh, alloy smeltery, that's the one. And now we should, if we grab our wrench, which is in there, be able to do something like this. So, first of all, we're going to need some of these wirings, which we can do if we do this. Uh, let's see, how good is our hammer? Our hammer seems to be okay. We might make it. Uh, how many do we need? We need six for that. And I think we need one, two, three, four, five for the uh, sort of bronze hole in the middle. So, let's have a look. We need some more small pipe, which is just this, this, with the wrench and the hammer. Boom. And then we need some more brick, which thankfully we do have because we got a bunch of normal brick. And therefore, we should... Be able to do something like this. Boom. For some reason it's not like in the, uh, the whole shift click thing. But. Boom. Nice. So we've got that. We can then combine that up with two normal furnaces from Vanilla Minecraft. Which are fairly easy to get. We can just do this. And take one, two of those. Throw those in our inventory. Get rid of all this stuff. There we go. And then shift click. Nope. <laughs> okay. Obviously, that would be far too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, hole in the middle, and then the six pipes all around. Gets us a steam alloy smelter. Nice. Now, I haven't quite tried this to see if we can get one uh, small coal burner to power two machines. But I'm hoping we can. We're going to put that down there. And hopefully... Hopefully, this should get some power. Possibly. So, for that, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, I think it... Oh, was it four steel plates? Wait a second, wait a second. We needed, we needed sheets, plastic sheets. And in order to get these, we needed a mold. We needed four steel plates. Oh, we need more. Jeez, we need four more steel. Okay, that's 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 not too big of a deal. We can get some more coal, uh, some more charcoal fairly easily. There's a little bit in there, but uh, again, I'm gonna cut away. We're gonna get four more steel, which uh, shouldn't be too big of a problem. We'll just do that. We'll get four more steel. That'll get us enough stuff to make the plastic sheets, and we'll be back in a second. And voila, we have four more steel, and we can go ahead and do something like this. You can see we pulled out, I'm pretty sure we pulled out Railcraft Steel just then. Go back, like, three seconds in the video, we pulled out Railcraft Steel, instantly came out as Greg Tech Steel, but we can go ahead and do something like this, and uh, not, not with a stick, with a hammer, get ourselves four steel plates, and then I believe we needed a file as well. So let's grab one of those real quick. A uh, file is just a stick, and I believe two of any plate will do. So we'll go ahead and make two iron plates, seeing as we have quite a bit of iron. Something like this. Gets the file, and then file, hammer, and force your plates. Gets us an empty shape plate. Raw plate, make mold. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Um, right, let me, hmm. Hmm. That gets us an empty mold. We need a specific mold, I think, in order to get this working, don't we? We need a mold for making plates. Oh, okay, yeah, which is just a hammer and an empty ship plate. Okay, so we take that, and then we do this. Nice. That gets us an empty ship plate, and then we should... 
I hope this better not get used up. I don't think it's going to. I'm going to hit a made some plastic pulp. Basically, smelt this through once to get the black rubber bars. Smelt them through again to get the plastic pulp. And now we should be able to do this and this and get plastic sheets. Nice. That only got us three, so we, I don't even think we have enough to make ourselves everything we need. We need, let's have a look. We need two for the planter and I think two for the harvester as well. Let's go over here. Yeah, we need two more for that. But that shouldn't be too big a problem. Because all we have to do now is go get ourselves some more rubber bars. Which should be fairly easy. Like we can just go grab some more trees. Throw them into the furnace twice. And then stick them in there. And it's pretty much good to go. Thankfully, it's quite fast. Which is also really nice. And we do have some rubber trees here. So, let's go ahead and throw this down outside. And what we'll do is we're going to have to come back next episode now. I did want to get the tree farm uh, up and running today. But Greg Tech stepped in and was like, nope, nope. You need to get a blast furnace. You need to get some steel going. And do a bunch of other stuff before that but next episode we will come back we will set up our tree farm and we will be good to go so yeah thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to like and i will see you guys next time for some more feed the beast resurrection bye, -bye.